Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the screening of antipyretic agents by using some animal models. Let's see the introduction of the topic. What is fever? So fever is a state of elevated core temperature of the body and this is uh, considered as a defensive mechanism of the body when some microorganism or some pathogens are inserted into the body. So some viral infection can lead to the fever, some protozoal infection like malaria can also produce the fever. So antipyretics are the drugs which reduces the elevated body temperature and the antipyretic drugs are some non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs which are primarily as an anti-inflammatory and having the analgesic activity. But paracetamol that is acetaminophen is an analgesic, purely analgesic drugs without anti-inflammatory property. So in preclinical study, there are two popular models for screening of antipyretic activity. So first model is the antipyretic testing in the rat. So in this case, the Brewer's yeast are used, Brewer's yeast suspension are used, which produces the fever. So for this test, first we have to take the male or female Vista rats whose weight is about 150 gram. The animals were divided into different uh, groups having the six animal in each group. So initially, the thermocouple uh, are used for monitoring the rectal temperature. They are inserted up to the depth of 2 cm into the rectum uh, in the rat and initial temperature is recorded. Then animals were injected with the Brewer's is the solution is prepared, suspension is prepared in this way that 15% suspension is prepared in 0.9% saline and out of that 10 ml per kg dose is injected subcutaneously to the rat. Once the injection is given, the area should be massaged so that the suspension is spread uh, equally and animals are maintained at the temperature of 22 to 24 degree centigrade uh, Celsius. So immediately the food withdraw after 18 hours. Again, the rectal temperature is recorded with an interval of 30 minutes. Then animal with body temperature of at least 38 degree centigrade are taken for the study means those animal which shows 38 degree centigrade temperature they are considered as uh, animals who is having the fever. Then the test or standard compounds were administered by suitable route of administration and after that again the temperature is recorded with the help of thermocouples at a time interval of 30, 60, 90, 120 and 180 minutes. So the evaluation is carried out in that the maximum reduction is temperature is recorded in the test compound as compared as compared to the control and the percentage reduction is calculated with the uh, test compound and suitable statistics can also be applied for comparison purpose. Second important and very popular test is in the rabbit that is antipyretic testing in the rabbit. So in this case, uh, first important thing is that we have to take the rabbit, rabbit of both the sexes were used and whose weight will be 3 to 5 kilogram. Then the, it is uh, shown that the lipopolysaccharides from gram negative bacteria, particularly E. coli, they induces the fever in rabbit when administered intravenously. So this causes rise in temperature by 1 to 1 degree centigrade after 60 minutes or more if dose is between 0.1 to 0.2 microgram per kilogram are administered. So uh, as per the previous tests, again initially the normal temperature, rectal temperature be noted by the thermocouple connecting, connecting to the automatic recorder. Then the lipopolysaccharides 0.2 microgram are uh, injected intravenously 
0.2 ml per kilogram which containing 0.2 microgram lipopolysaccharides into the rabbit ear and record the temperature so rabbit ear is the suitable place where you can observe the veins prominently and from that you can insert the drugs inject the drugs very properly so the 60 minutes later after administration the test compound should be administered by subcutaneously or orally and body temperature is uh, measured up to the 3 hours so in this case the evaluation is like that reduction in body temperature by 0 0.5 degree centigrade for more than 30 minutes and these are compared to lipopolysaccharide administered animals it shows the antipyretic activity so phenylbutazone at a dose of 14, 45 mg per kg whereas indomethacin 2.5 mg per kg work as a antipyretic drugs and this is additionally is given that lipopolysaccharide causes rise in temperature by 1 per degree centigrade after 60 minute or more in dose in between 0.1 and 0.2 microgram per kg so here in this test 0.2 microgram per kg dose has been administered so this is a very popular method for screening of antipyretic activity so thank you for this please subscribe uh, like and share the channel for more such types of video please watch the channel thank you